You won. For real, you did it. But now, I just want to be left the fuck alone. All right? That's it. So I'm sure none of us believe Unique when he says Rock won because she may have won a few battles but the war is far from over and Rock is in constant war with herself. She's never satisfied, she lies and she's constantly digging her own grave and that's one of many reasons why we're eventually gonna see her empire crumble and where she falls with it. So at this moment in time, Unique's made her think she's won. He said all he wants is peace and for him and his family to be left alone. But sometimes surrendering can be a tool of power in itself. When you're weaker, you have to surrender rather than fight for the sake of honor and pride. And this gives you need time to build and undermine Rock while she weakens in her power on her own accord. And what we're learning throughout season 2 is, Rock is creating a lot of enemies and she's creating her own downfall by turning Kanan and everybody else against herself. And all you need needs to do is wait and adopt some of the principles from the 48 laws of power and I just spoke about law 22 with how he's using the surrender tactic and now all he needs to do is just sit back and master the art of timing and let Rock self-destruct. So where they showed Unique playing checkers is he the one who's actually playing the long game and thinking about striking at the perfect moment? Did the writers throw us a curveball and is Unique the one who's playing chess with Rock playing checkers? So in this video we're gonna speak about another 48 laws of power in relation to Breeze and a law that Kanan used himself in power as Slim. So we're gonna look at a fan theory on Breeze and why Rock is all but set to lose against Unique in season 2. But let's start with this fan theory of Breeze. Now I've always predicted from day 1 that DeWiz's brother is who I think will be introduced as Breeze and so I do stick with my original prediction because there was a reason for killing D-Wiz and a reason why Rock bought up her brother. Derek got you the guns you used on Bug 20, didn't he? I know his brother's a wild boy. Figure he must have gas stashed up in the crib. But this one from William Greggs in the comment section really does get you thinking. So the comment section is open to your theories and thoughts about Breeze. Now, even though Breeze is said to be just a few years older than Kanan, Power Book 3 have swayed from a few of the original storylines in power. For example, Marvin kicking out Duke when he found out about her sexuality. So there's always a chance they could change things. Now, William Gregg said, This is gonna sound crazy, but Unique changes his name to Breeze, and Kanan has ghost kill him due to the past. Just a fan theory. Unique said in this episode that his name doesn't hold any weight in the streets. This will be a good opportunity to change your name and reform yourself. And he wasn't the only one who was thinking about Unique being Breeze. There were plenty of others. So let's remind ourselves of what Unique said. My business is done. My name ain't even got the same weight on these streets no more. <laughs> you won. His name has no weight on the streets. And we all know it doesn't. He's firmly in the eyes of the NYPD. He has no crew, no weight. Dean doesn't want anything to do with him either. And nobody wants to associate themselves with Unique. And Warrell is a classic example. So I want to look at a particular principle from the 48 Laws of Power. And it's one I've spoken about before when I've discussed Kanan transforming into Slim, which we're going to come back around to in just a moment. But Law 25 is recreate yourself. Now, sometimes when you're in a position like Unique, and where he has to surrender, you have to fall back and start from scratch and recreate yourself, very similar to what we're seeing Tommy go through in Chicago on Force. But this allows you to recreate yourself with a powerful new image that stands out and draws attention, rather than letting your old persona define who you are. This new image then allows you to create and allow you to gain this level of power which your old self would never have got back. So at this moment in time, it is fair to say, Unique does need to recreate himself because currently he's defeated. And could we come across a scenario where Breeze has been in front of us this entire time? Who knows? But I really wouldn't be surprised, especially because so far Raising Kanan Season 2 has been a little predictable. So I'm just waiting for them to throw us a massive curveball and Breeze is a character they can do that with. But as I mentioned before, I do still stick with my original prediction of D-Wiz's brother appearing to be Breeze at the perfect moment, where Kanan doesn't even need convincing to turn against Rock. What's also interesting is, he doesn't know Lou was the one who killed D-Wiz, so I'm intrigued to see if they ever reveal that to Kanan and what it does with his relationship with Lou. Now, we did see Kanan use this very same principle of law in power. Ghost almost burned him alive at the end of season 2, and so he had to surrender in order to gain this power back. And when he was back on his feet, 
he didn't strike Ghost back straight away. He recreated himself as Slim. And you do have to ask the question, did Kanan learn this move from someone in the past? Whether it be from Unique or anyone else. Because for someone to have gone prison for 10 years, being set up by a Ghost, being burned alive and almost killed, he remained awfully calm until it was the right moment to strike. And even then, he thought, how can I get Ghost back? What's the one thing that would break him? And the answer was, Tariq St. Patrick. And what's the one thing that would break Rock? The answer is, Kanan Stark. And this is what Unique had to say at the beginning of Season 1. But he ain't live inside of me. He didn't come out of me, Rock. So you and Kanan connected in a way me and Jerome just never will be, Rock. He knows Rock has a special bond with Kanan that he doesn't have with Jerome. And that's why he'll always be Rock's biggest weakling. And this is something he can choose to exploit, if he chooses to that is, or he could sit back and let Rock destroy it herself. Because most recently, he questioned Rock about Scrappy's death, and she said it was a suicide. But what was the need to lie to Kanan? She thought Scrappy was a snitch, and so if she really thought Scrappy was a snitch, he had to go. And I'm sure Kanan would have understood. But not only did she lie about Scrappy, she continued the lie about Detective Howard, and sooner rather than later, Kanan will have had enough of his mom, and he along with everybody else is gonna turn. And you can already sense what Rock is gonna do with Crown and the label. And so I can see Lou turning on Rock very soon. Now I also do think it's worth mentioning, Kanan also showed a willingness to go behind his family's back and steal from them to help Famous. He sold some product and started slinging this on the corners through Famous's mixtapes. And ironically, this is something very similar to what Tariq St. Patrick did in power, we saw him steal from Tommy's warehouse, where he then started to sell out Chode, and even partner with Vincent, albeit very short-lived. So that's a similar parallel between Kanan and Tariq, and how they pull very similar moves. But that's a breakdown on Unique, and how I think he's playing Rock with the surrender tactic. He's just biding his time until it's the right moment. But drop all your thoughts down below and let me know what you make of the fan theory about Unique recreating himself as Breeze. Has he been in front of us this entire time? For me, because of the age factor, and Breeze was someone who said to have watched Jeopardy, I'm still sticking with D-Wiz's brother. But the comment section is always open to your theories, so drop all your thoughts down below in the comment section. And of course, if you are new to the channel and you haven't done so already, then remember to smash the subscribe button if you want to see everything Power Book 3 and Power Universe related. But as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.